Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniart. So this is a kit molded in 135 scale and it copies Austin 3rd series. As you can see there are Czechoslovak, Russian and Soviet service markings included. And of course this is an interior kit so we have also some internal features included so it might be an interesting build not only for this who focus on the outer surfaces but also for this who would like to build a diorama with something inside. So we have a commercial sample here and it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to open it together and check what is actually supplied inside. So first of all box size is standard we have this vertical box art here and here you can check comparison with my hand. Next on the side here we have some safety information barcode QR code and address of the manufacturer and on the opposite side you can see all the marking options which are included so we have two 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 seven marking options which is quite interesting because it's i would say amount which is not that usually met in armor kits so this is a top opening box just give me a second I was confused because I thought I saw more, but it's not a camouflage. So we have all sprues packed into the same plastic bag. As you can see, it's a sealed plastic bag. And here is what we have on the bottom. So that's assembly manual, but we will check it a bit later. First, we gotta check these gray plastic parts. And I will use knife in order to cut this plastic bag because it's a sealed plastic bag. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially. We have a special donate button on our website or you can use the link in the video description or you can even join our YouTube membership which gives you various benefits and for example some of you already enjoy this benefit of the free kit every month and it's a kit of your choice which is quite interesting in my opinion and of course all this money go for overall improvement of the video reviews or maybe to purchase some interesting kits to be reviewed in our videos so again we have one more plastic bag here so one more second I need to open this bag as well because here we have clear plastic sprue and decals shit so I'm going to open it right now so first of all clear plastic frame here it is let's zoom in a bit maybe open the camera so that it will be brighter and remove the dust of course so here we have this clear sprue everything looks nice and I don't see any possible issue here and the only thing you should consider is that masks are not included so you have to cover everything with your own stickers or maybe get some aftermarket set which will solve this Next we continue with the uh, decal sheet, so this one is printed in form of this small paper and it comes from Decograph, so printing quality is really nice, maybe we can zoom in a bit more so that you can check it closer. And as I said, quality is okay and we have some symbols which can be easily replicated with masks. So it's up to you whether you would like to get even more convincing appearance by applying all this stuff with masks and airbrush or you, you are fine with uh, decals and you will work with them. Next we have a small envelope with mini art logo. So this one is dedicated to PE thread, so just give me a second. Here we have this P thread, it's unpainted P thread and as you can see we have various parts not only for the external features but also for internal. So some of them are really tiny so be sure to use sharp tweezers because otherwise it will be really tricky to get them into the right spot. Okay, so that's the various items which were in the top and now we continue with the first grey plastic sprue, here it is. I'll place it like that first, we zoom out so that you can check whole frame, here it is. So here we have hull parts and as you can see these are side panels, here we have some internal elements, this is a floor for the turrets, here we have fenders and some parts again for the turret area and molding quality seems to be fine here, you can see for example seat parts but I think it's worth zooming in so that you can check everything closer. So because this is an interior kit we have some various features inside the vehicle as well so it will be a good idea to expose them somehow but you will see further in this video review that there are 
are more interesting parts included and it would be a shame to hide them so here for example you can see the bonnet panel molded separately and here it is by the way so you can open the engine on your model here we continue with more parts and let's flip it over here you can check everything from the opposite side so molding quality seems to be fine and there is no flash on this part so it's just a matter of careful assembly and you'll be good to go with all these elements next we have mm, view rims i'm trying to find another sprue because obviously there <laughs> should be four view rims so here they are and these are really the tiny parts and no worries even though we have the separate plastic wheel rims there are also plastic tires so just give me a second i'll pick them up and i will show them to you in a second so even though we have four wheel rims we have one two three four so eight tires this might be a bit surprising but it's because we have also spare wheels and we have double wheel set up on the rear axle so here you can see these tires and let's zoom in so that you can check them closer because these plastic tires are really good so here you can see that we have even features on the tire walls something what you won't meet on some resin parts and here you get it in a standard plastic kit so it's just a matter of careful separation assembly together and you'll be good to go with these nice tires okay next we continue with machine guns so both will be installed in the turret so i will show you only one as you can see they come on two plastic sprues so here it is and molding quality seems to be fine it will be also upgraded with help of PE. and the only thing which you have to do is carefully paint all this stuff and of course assemble it carefully because these are tiny parts here you can see comparison with my fingertips so do not underestimate their size they might look big on the video but they are not in the real life next we continue with more parts for the turret so here you can see the top section we separately molded hatches which is also quite a useful feature because maybe you have some figures to place there maybe you have something else some other idea how to use these separate doors and here we have another good example so as you can see here we have a separate door so another handy feature in order to show what is inside your car because otherwise it will be just hidden inside next we continue with wheel fenders so here is the first one or first frame and here we have two uh, identical frames but they are slightly bigger so first let's check this one so as you can see they are pre-shaped and it will be easy to separate them because this is a matter of three attachment points only okay and next we go on with two identical plastic frames so let's zoom out a bit here they are i will show you only one because they carry the same set of parts and as you can see here again we have wheel fenders we have also some parts for the suspension and another interesting thing is that here you can see rivets so maybe we can zoom in so that you can see that all these separate pins should be cut off and applied on the main hull it might be a bit tedious procedure and it's up to you whether you would like to apply them but if you would like to achieve a more or less realistic appearance you have to do this next we continue with this interconnection between frames so obviously this one is bigger than what we saw before here we have a full set of thin and small parts this will be used for the suspension and control elements for example here you can see steering wheels and some other stuff maybe we can zoom in so that you can check everything closer here they are of course with thin parts you have to be extra careful because otherwise it will be <laughs> A really tricky stuff to get off the frame maybe some of them can be even replaced with a metal wire so that it will be easier to work with them and you avoid any unnecessary broken parts in your kit and the last gray plastic sprue is the also quite big so here we have mix of parts for the suspension and drivetrain so let's zoom into one of the corners so that you can check it closer here it is so we have various drivetrain parts we have engine included here so it would be a wise idea to paint and weather it properly and maybe expose it somehow on the vehicle some pioneer tools leaf springs and more parts for the main chassis here and here we have chassis bars which are molded together okay so now we can move on to the assembly manual 
Assembly menu comes in form of large brochure, there is no surprise in that, so here it is. It's a color printed brochure with a short list of the features on the cover. So let's open it. And of course we start with marking options, so here you can see first three marking options. This one is from summer 1917, this one is from December 1919, Czechoslovak Legion in Russia. Quite interesting. Next we continue with the spring 1919 and what is next? One more fourth marking option comes from summer 1919, so it's a South Russia. Next we continue with the parts map. With the parts map I would like to note that Miniar does not show which parts are unused, so be careful and use the right elements so that you have a proper copy of the Austin. Here you can see another example. Obviously not all of these parts will be employed, some will stay as a spare parts and that's why it's good to keep track of what you have to apply here and there. So we start with the main chassis. It will be a matter of assembly of all these separate bars together. Next to continue with an engine so engine will be really detailed here and you can also I would say add some features with uh, metal wires even though here I do not see it mentioned frankly speaking so it will be up to you to find some reference material in order to copy it but next step involves installation of the engine on the main chassis and next we continue with the leaf springs various control elements for the driver compartment here you can see that you can use thin parts or you can replace them with a metal wire. We have a thickness and length, so it will be up to you whether you would like to use this or that. Obviously metal wire will be more realistic looking and it will be easier to handle because you will have it readily available. You won't have to cut it carefully and then apply it. I mean clean first and then glue it into the place. Next we continue with wheel axles so they get installed on the, these main chassis together with the uh, brake lever and next we continue with armor panels and wheel fenders so these are front ones obviously. Here we can see the wheels assembly so there will be um, some options so be careful as you can see there are some call outs for different markings be sure to use the right one for your particular version next we continue with the horn also there is a driver's seat and some other seats installed in the rear compartment from what i can see and next we continue with the main hull armor panels, so as you can see this boxy structure will get assembled separately, so it won't be assembled on the main chassis and you have to build it separately, you will have choice of opening various uh, hatches and doors, so here you can see it assembled separately, it's basically the hull which will cover the main chassis on later steps. Quite an interesting assembly process so pay attention to the fitment, to the overall fitment because as you can see for example rear fenders they will be attached to this shell not to the lower hull section and not to the chassis I would say. Next we continue with two assembly options so either you open this engine bay hatch or you close it. Next we have Machine gun assembly, so obviously we start working on the two turrets on this vehicle and that's pretty much all. So 76 steps to perform, final step will be installation of these two turrets onto your vehicle and you have colors chart here. Next we have two marking options, these ones are from summer 1919 and also early 1920s, as you can see it's written here on Lenin. Next we have seventh marking option, this one comes from early 1920s, it's already Red Army armored car and here you can see two other kits in 135 scale we reviewed them as well so you can find it easily on our youtube channel and here are two more kits they are also reviewed on our youtube channel so just type in the kit number and you'll be you know, watching this video reviews so as for today's kit it should be already available you can get it on official modelimix webshop for example of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this release here in the comment section below if you like this video do not forget to press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye